Do, do you wish you owned Netflix? Um, you know, you know the, the only good answer for that, since it's worth how much? It's worth 20 or 30 billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish I owned it personally. <laughs> <clears throat> no, but seriously. Well, you know, we, do, we, we do own a Netflix. We own HBO. HBO.com is fantastic. Well, HBO, the company is fantastic, and it's, uh, you know, it makes close to $2 billion a year. Do you of wish earnings, you would have I'm bought very, Netflix before it was worth $30 billion? Uh, yeah, you know, I wish I'd bought everything that's gone up five bucks. <laughs> if there was an oil company that went up, we wish we had that. Well, okay, Ted Sarando sat here last year in this chair. On that side. Yeah. And he said that we are the HBO of the 21st century. He said that. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you say to that? Good for him. <laughs> okay. But he's, I mean, he had, and now, you know, um, Ted couldn't make it to the grill this year. He was, uh, he's been here every year well, since. Oh, he's we too big for it now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he might disagree with that. Ted, that's a challenge. You need to be here next year. Um, no, I think he's doing, uh, filming a bunch of stuff on the East Coast. But I mean, he just made a whole bunch of announcements and they said they were spending $3 billion on content this year. They are a worthy competitor now. Well, but all, they're also a worthy partner. I mean, you know, we make stuff for them. Mm -hmm. So that's good. I mean, isn't the... <laughs> <laughs> the thing about Netflix that it, to me is the constant um, object lesson and kind of in a way scold to the legacy media companies is exactly what they've done in, in the past week, which is they went global in Europe and within days they knew exactly what their subscribers were looking for and then they turned around and literally within day, days did a deal with Adam Sandler. We know that Adam Sandler is what fits our audience. We're happy to do four films with him. They have the kind of data that, to me, the legacy media companies have still not gotten their arms around how to have that uh, direct information and uh, marshal that mm -hmm. to drive their content. Do you agree with that? Yeah, largely I do. I think they've done a great job at that. That's the advantage of uh, using the new distribution system of broadband because you can be in direct uh, connection with who's watching in terms of what they're doing. The data like that exists at Netflix or Amazon or anybody that does that. It, it'll exist uh, for any company that has a way to talk to consumers that are viewing their stuff on demand. The cable companies all have it. AT&T has it. You know, they, they can have it also. Uh, it's true that there are, and, and Comcast is trying to get that data because they have what you watch on Xfinity uh -huh. and they have all your email, you know, they have all your information, everything you're doing. Uh -huh. Okay, I, I don't know offhand the number of subscribers they have to Xfinity, but is that... Well, I don't know which, you know, they have their footprint and then they have, I, I don't know. So either. how do you make up that? Deficit. I mean, how do you pull? Well, you could get, you know, for uh, for our networks, the, the issue for the network industry, um, whether it's ABC or TNT or HBO, if you're distributing, because we all started up doing, I mean, think about how this has happened. We started out in the uh, cable revolution that came after the three networks, where we were streaming HBO and, you know, TBS and CNN over to your television, but that's not, that wasn't a two-way internet connection. That was streaming like that. So the cable operators that delivered the signal had the data or the means to find out what you were doing. The networks did not. Right. Um, if you're delivering over broadband, and if the viewer is connected to your hosting site, then whether you're Netflix or HBO or TNT, you could have that information. Now that gets into a sensitive issue because the distributors, you know, DirecTV, Comcast, et cetera, don't want the networks to have the names of who the people are that are watching their stuff. Right. Because they don't want you to be able to market or when you get into these 
issues on how your network's being marketed. Well, they're or also being not product. creating content, but, but Netflix is, and now Amazon is. Yeah, so that's, that's right. the difference. So that is the, uh, one of the advancements of that form of distribution.